Welcome to Table from One. I'm the narrator, and in today's video, I have a very mysterious box to open. Let's get rolling. So what I am opening today is City of Six Moons. This is a game that I was interested in from the moment that I heard about it. Uh, I mentioned it in my mid-year update. And actually at the time of the mid-year update when that came out, it was available for order directly from the publisher. And they ran out of stock. Uh, so I missed it. Um, so I'm getting it a little bit later now. This is the... It's back in stock and I just received it. So... Uh, if you don't recall, or if you didn't watch my mid-year update and you haven't heard of City of Six Moons, this is described as an alien civilization game in two ways. In the one sense, it's completely... Hmm, shrink wrap's a little funny here, that's okay. Um, it's a completely functional game of building an alien civilization, like any other civilization builder. Um, but it is also a game that is supposedly from an alien civilization. So everything about this game uh, is not in written language. It's all in an alien language. You have to decipher the rule book for yourself, uh, and you'll never know if you're playing the actual game right. Um, so let me just read what's on the back here. As near as I can tell, this is an alien civilization building game for a single player. There only seems to be components and rules for one player, and when I ask them about it, they seem perplexed. I watched them play it once before they returned into the black, and only one of them moved the pieces, doing so silently while the others chattered. Whether they were playing the game cooperatively or whether they were merely commentating, I can't say. I chose to translate the title as City of Six Moons, though I think this is at best a clumsy approximation. And then it goes on to have a paragraph about each of these glyphs from the beginning. So this apparently says... City of Six Moons, um, and I'll just, uh, I'll talk about, I guess, that one. I don't want to read this whole thing for you, but, uh, so this one here says, this probably means six, as it's nearly identical to the glyph for that number, but those two tiny extra dots are bothersome. Perhaps it is just a stylistic quirk? I don't think it represents a different number. I've seen their glyph for 60, and that's not a significant number for them anyway. The only other place I've seen this particular version of the six glyph was on some of the other boxes they brought with them, so it's possible that it also means game. So, I don't know, there's, you know, there's more to it. You can probably check it out online if you like. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but... Um, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm not going to play this game on this channel um, because a lot of the game is just in me figuring out how to play the game. Um, so it's you know, pretty artsy. It's kind of a meta game in that respect, but it's really just a cool idea. Uh, so let's get this plastic off. Here we go. And this video is as much for me as for anyone else because I want to see how this is packaged. I might, you know, I might want to see it in the future. I don't know if there's any relevance. I doubt it, but um, I don't know what's a clue and what's not a clue. So I'll just document the opening of it and then probably spend a good amount of time just trying to figure out how to play it. And that's really th the fun of it. So we've got a plastic bag with wooden components. Uh, some generic red looking people, I guess, two red, two blue, and then a bunch of these little discs. I wonder how many there are. 48, uh, which is a multiple of six. I don't know if that's significant or not. So we'll put these components back in the bag. And it looks like we've got a deck of cards and maybe I don't know what those uh, components in the box, I don't know if that's paper or chipboard. We shall see, maybe both. Uh, let's go here. So, this is paper, but thick. It's like construction paper-ish. Um, so I guess we'll start at the beginning. 
or what I presume is the beginning. We've got a triangle down here. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> oh yeah, two triangles, three triangles, four and five. So I'm guessing these pages are in order. Dotted line separator is interesting. Um, and again, this is more like in world, you know, storytelling on the on the production of this. Uh, that's pretty neat. What else have we got? Oh, what is this? I don't know what material this is. It's almost like canvas on the back. Hmm. I guess that's like the game board. It's this board here. It's not not chipboard. Hmm. Okay. Let's orient it that way. And let's look at these cards. Oh gosh, this is a puzzle. There we go. So I've got a different symbol in the middle there. So this one doubles up this one, this one doubles up that one, that one, and that one. A uh, bunch of other cards with symbols on them, blue and red, which corresponds to the colors of those two tokens uh, here, blue and red. Oh, that one's kind of purple. That's interesting. What's on the backs of all these? Oh, it's like white and yellow. Hmm. But I think, oh, not quite the same symbols. Oh, are they, yeah, these are red. One and two. So what is that purple one? Blue on the back, okay. That is very interesting. I didn't see any purples on this half. I know these are very different from these sides. Okay, so those are the components of City of Six Moons. But, uh, and this tells you, <laughs> I guess this tells you how to play. Uh, so this is gonna be really fun. This is a super cool puzzle. Um, and I think it's neat that, ooh, that's, it's very nice. Nothing else looks like that in the book. That's kind of cool. Um, I think it'll be neat to, uh, at some point, chat with other people online about theories, about how to play, and how they deciphered different uh, symbols here. This is super cool. Uh, and I, you know, it's pretty minimalistic. There's not a ton here in the box, but you know, there's plenty I don't understand. So uh, I think it'll keep me busy for quite some time. And I will never know if I do it right. That is City of Six Moons. That is unlike anything else I've, uh, I've ever played before. And unlikely that I'll uh, find something else like it again. So if you think that sounds interesting, uh, you can probably pick up a copy yourself. I think it was like 30 bucks. It wasn't too bad. I suspect you'll probably have to get it direct from the publisher. I don't think this is like widely printed. But uh, it is available right now in uh, August of 2024 as I'm recording. So. There you go. Let me know uh, what you think about this in the comments. And while you're doing that, you can subscribe, share, and like this video. And don't forget, you can always head over to my coffee page, ko-fi, link in the description if you want to drop me a couple bucks. That is always appreciated. But that's what I've got this time on Table for One. I hope you like what you saw. I will see you in the next video.